I don't know where I want to go today. It's either between Paradise Point and Frank's Tract. We'll let the coin decide. Heads, Paradise Point. Tails, Frank's Tract. All right, tails. Frank's Tract it is. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we made it. I just unloaded everything. Wow, it is really cold. I am super, super thankful. I had jacket, extra pair of pants in the truck with me because I definitely need it or else I'm gonna freeze my butt off. I'm warm now. Let's get started. What are you today? Uh, black bass. Good luck, Good luck to you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely a lot dirtier water than the last time I was here. It's seemingly more delta-like. Maybe that'll actually help the bite a little bit. Got a little channel swing right here. Start with the A-Rig. Oh, a lot of people have asked me what rod setup I'm using for this A-Rig. This is a Halo Twilight rod. 7.6 heavy power rod. Um, I think it's meant to be a flip and stick. It's worked pretty well for me so far using this A-Rig. We're on a high tide right now. They might be pushed under that cover as that bird that just came out might indicate as far as bait goes. It's really dirty. I don't know, cold muddy water is typically not a good thing. Keep our fingers crossed. I mean, I don't want to fish a drop shot already, but I also want to see if I can just get a bite. Tell me that there's some fish here. Well, just to give you guys a little bit of an update, I've been on the water for about two hours and um, yeah, it's tough. Water is really, really muddy. I mean, there's probably only about an inch or two of visibility. Water's obviously cold, it's December, and these are Florida strain bass. They're not too fond of this kind of weather. So, you know, I've got a bunch of different baits tied on. It's just gonna be a matter of finding what they wanna bite and where they're located. The thing is, I came here about a month ago. Water was super clear, crystal clear. I could see to the bottom, I could see that there were fish here. They were tough to catch, but I can't even see if there are fish here or not. That's the first question, are the fish still in this area? We'll continue on, but uh, tough day of fishing on the Delta so far. So I think maybe there's a good chance that uh, the bait's pushed into the cover and uh, that's where the bass are holding. It's just a theory, but hopefully it's the right one. Man, I have not blanked in a long time. Today is very good possibility I will. Well, still without a bite, I think. Definitely without a fish. I'm pretty much scrapping that entire area. I'm gonna head back towards the ramp. Hopefully, I'm gonna head past the ramp and try to find some cleaner water. I don't know, I, I think honestly, I don't think there are fish in that area anymore. There were a month ago, but I don't think they're there anymore. I think they've moved. I'm gonna try another area and see if I uh, find them there. Stay tuned. You know, just for the heck of it, let's go over here. Throw the drop shot around. What's up, man? What's up? 
up? Nothing, just struggling. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm on the delta. Well, Frank's tracked. We got like three to six inches of snow up here on Sunday night. Really? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, honestly, like maybe an inch of visibility. This is a bad choice. I don't think. Wait. Oh, dude, I actually think I just had a bite. <laughs> Not even kidding. Dude, that's awesome, man. So what time do you want to get out there? How far away is it for you? Like two hours? Two hours on the dot, but the roads right now up here are fucking straight sheet ice, so... Alright, well, I'll call you after work. Just go over it. Yeah, yeah, give me a shout after work. Alright, dude, good luck. Alright, man, later. It's slow today. Ah, uh, you think? I've got to catch fish before I leave because I believe for the entire year 2017, I have yet to get skunked on a kayak fishing trip. And it is December 5th today. So less than a month left in 2017. Am I really going to break that streak now? I hope not. Our last ditch effort, drop shotting the boat ramp. Well, that was a sad day guys. I officially have skunked. I misspoke earlier. That's actually the second time I skunked this year. The other time I just remembered was practice for Turner's Cut, the Akabas event. I went out for a few hours in the uh, Slayer LT and I actually skunked that time. So it's my second skunk of the year. So it wasn't, you know, the end of a, uh, any kind of streak. What are you gonna do? It was tough out there. Like always, I wanna show you guys the good, bad, and the ugly. So today was probably one of the uglier <laughs> fishing trips I've had but uh, that's fishing and that's what uh, you know makes it special every every outings different and it's always a puzzle today was a tough puzzle that I couldn't figure out tomorrow I'm heading back to Lake Comanche gonna meet Mike hopefully pull some nice fish out some nice spotted bass would be pretty cool and uh, hopefully a lot better than today let me know what you guys would have tried today to maybe catch some of these uh, Delta bass but uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one which should be on Lake Comanche